Yo guys, what is up? This is Nick. We are back on Final Fantasy 15. Let's go ahead and head back on out on the train. All set for boarding? Yeah. Well, let's roll. In that case, hop aboard. We'll be leaving shortly. We're here for you. Yeah. Let us help you. And we're off! Are we clear? Crystal. Hey, watch your step. You're not pushing onward? Not at his expense. Fair enough. All right, level up time. All right, we got everybody at level 30. Noctis is at 32. Ignis as the low man at level 30. Um, I don't know. None of these pictures. I'll oh, save that picture, but none of those pictures are very good. All right, chapter 11 in the dark. Ignis's resolve forces a Reconciliation between Noctis and Gladiolus and restores harmony to the group. With renewed vigor, the four friends reboard the train and head for Tanimbre, home of the late Lady Luna Freya. So I think I've decided we'll go back to the 12 o'clock, 7 o'clock Eastern uploads. Uh, this will come out at noon, and then on the New Game Plus kind of main playthrough will be coming out at 7 p.m. Eastern uh, every day. Uh, so, starting to get all those things, you know, preset, uh, so that when the new Game Plus comes out, I can just hop right into that and start getting videos caught up for that. Um, so I'm looking forward to the new Game Plus. Hopefully I can finish this today. Um, I know I'm not going to finish it in this sitting, but I have like a three-hour shift at work, so I'm going to record here, go to work, come home, record a little bit more. Uh, and hopefully I can finish this up and get them all ready to go. Uh, pre-scheduled uh, to go live, and then when New Game Plus comes out, we can just start recording that and getting those set to go live. Uh, and I'll probably be playing some Dishonored. Um, I'll probably maybe get the whole Let's Play done before I even start uploading it, because I don't, I don't really think I want to have three games going at once, so... I'll probably just wait until this playthrough of Just the Story is complete, but we'll to see. Ride the rails. Sure does. Eager to drive once we're in Gralia? <laughs> if they'll let me. <laughs> we're fortunate to have the Regalia at all. We owe the First Secretary our thanks. She'd get more thanks if she gave us a discount. Those transceivers are top-notch. I recall when the Hydrian raged. In the midst of the Empire's retreat, one conspicuous craft remained behind. The Chancellor's. <laughs> the last thing I remember seeing was his ship heading for the altar. I fell unconscious and was powerless to stop him. I'm just glad you're alive. Oh, is someone else there? Gladio, he just came back. Where did he go anyway? On a brief reconnaissance. Something caught my ear. Hey, Captain. Mission complete. Splendid. So what caught your ear? Rumors of longer nights. They've been growing longer day by day. There was talk of it back in Lucis, but recent days have shown an unseasonably sharp change. <sighs> Should this trend continue, before long, there won't be daylight. Well, it's not out of the question. The Empire's already slain half of the Six. <laughs> no wonder the whole world's in disarray. I guess. And longer nights mean more demons. Seen that with our own eyes. I happened to overhear a fellow passenger discussing this very same phenomenon. So he sent yours truly to seek him out. Nice police work. Well, don't want to keep him waiting. No, we don't. Back in a moment. Sure.
Uh, uh, whoa! Oh, there you are, buddy. Did you see this? Oh, it's unreal. Yeah. seen anything like it. Doesn't make any sense. snow cloud kind of gives me the chills like who comes up with this stuff i couldn't dream something like this if i tried it's a wondrous world the hell are Whoa. you doing here what's going on easy there buddy oh didn't see that coming you all right shut up be careful there wait this is for real Come back here, you little shit. Show yourself. Uh, knocked. That son of a bitch. Come on, knocked. You're scaring me. Seriously, man. Cut it out. Come here, you little shit. It's not safe. Plus, you're causing a scene. You think this is funny? Dude, are you seriously trying to kill me? Why wouldn't I? What are you after following me around this whole time? It's all your fault! What are you talking about? Do you really mean that, Noct? Sure. Of course I do! You can't talk your way out of this! You won't even let me! Knocked. Please, can't we talk for a sec? Never! We have some nice music in the floating screen. I may in a coming episode, it may just be an hour and a half long episode, I might just do it as a full episode just to get it done and over with. So, you know, you don't have to watch it if you don't want to, and it's there, I guess, if you do. Uh, but once we get to it, I'll, I'll decide, but that part's such a bitch. I am not looking forward to it. I guess I read S-Q-L-O, or S -Q -L yeah, S-Q-L-O. The deserts of the western continent have long been littered with imperial armies and outposts. The slaying of the Glacian, however, gave birth to a paradoxical phenomenon, snowfields and sand dunes coexisting mere miles apart. Noctis and his friends would be wise to flee this treacherous terrain post-haste. But we are actually nearing the end here. Probably, I don't know, six or seven more episodes to go. Not too much. And I guess I do know how to do some things at the end that were a little bit confusing, so... Shouldn't take me long to do those now. Knocked. Are you okay? No. Where's Art? Wait. He's here? If he is, that would explain all this weird stuff happening. I bet he's behind the train stopping. Ignis and Gladio went up to inspect the engine room. 
I say the two of us go check out the rear. Yeah. Are we under attack? Did they bomb us? Not. We have to protect the people. Head to the next car. Leave these guys to us. There we go. We've got them. So oh man. Come on, I'll be on board. Let's check the rear. If we need to get the train moving again, I'm sure Ignis and Gladio will come up with something. I hope so. Let's go. How bad do you think it is? Pretty damn bad. Crap. The MTs can self destruct. We can't let them inside. Well, then, we take the fight to them. Okay, Imperial Shock Troopers are attempting to blow up the train. Take them down before they get too close. If the train takes too much damage, the game is over. That thing's huge! We've got company! Sure do. Let the party begin! Huh? It's us against an army. What are the odds we'll win? See ya! There! I gotta keep my eyes out for the shock troopers there. Come on. Potion. Potion again. He's back on his feet. There's just too many of them. The fun never ends. Oh, get this. No, I'm out of stasis. Oh, God. Where is he running off to? Oh, bullet time, baby. Huh. Ooh, an armored assassin. We stepped it up. Oh, but he still gets one shot. How bad do you think it is? Why is it not splitting him up? Oh my gosh, it's not taking the way I want it to. Kill the shock trooper. Up. He glitch? What's going on with that guy? Uh -oh. Good news, Knox. Ignis just called and said we're almost ready to roll. Finally. Yeah. All right. Let me. I'm gonna lick, sir. I get my MP back. Not. He's ready for round two. I already said that, Pronto. Stop repeating yourself. Looks like they've rolled out the big guns. Pronto, stay back. An Imperial tank has also begun firing it on the train. Point warp to the tank and destroy it before it shoots. He's back on his feet. Assault crafts have begun firing on the train. Point warp to the ships to destroy them. So when you point warp, okay, they're not open.
Open your sides. There we go. I can't get to that one. There we go. Gotta get inside and then. Oh my gosh, dude. She's gonna blow. And I can't. Oh my god, dude. Really? God, that's so annoying. She's gonna blow. That one's next. Oh my god, point warp. Oh my god, it's, oh my god, dude, what the fuck? Why is it locked on to the guys on the side? Oh my, dude. Dude! Oh good, uh, this is just great. That'll do it. Back on the train. How long were you in the dark? Such a fucking shithead, dude. I hate Arden so much. Telling you, this game would be so much better without his bitch ass in here. We're about to make an outfit change. We're about to get serious. Alright, level 33. Chapter 12, End of Days. Arden uses a stitch in time to switch appearances with Prompto and Trix knocked into hurting his closest friend. Nevertheless, a king pushes ever onward, accepting the consequences and never looking back. Oh, maybe I should have read that before. That's not what I thought happened. I thought, you know, he chopped, or didn't chop, but he missed the hand, and uh, they just both fell off the train. Only Arden was able to be Arden and not fall off. So that's what I thought initially happened, not that he switched appearances with Prompto. That's not what I thought, but now that, that, that that's a new piece of information I now have. I think we're almost to Tenembre. Maybe. Should probably not make speculations, but there's only 13 chapters in this. Uh, but I think chapter 13 is pretty damn long. Uh, that's kind of the issue. That one's just stupid long. And that's the chapter that I'm considering just uh, just making it a whole episode. No, oh, we got a brand new loading. <laughs> so it loaded and then it, it loaded into a loading screen. Okay. You've got to stop this thing. Prompto fell off the train. I pushed him. I mean, Arden made me. I don't know where he is, but we can't leave him. Stay calm, Noct. I'm as concerned for Prompto as you are. But stopping the train would endanger everyone on board. We'd be sitting ducks for the demons. What do we do? First, we drop the passengers off at Tenebrae. We'll be arriving shortly. What about Prompto? Given the Chancellor's involvement, it's probable he's no longer where we left him. In any case, he may try to contact us. Let us wait and hope for now. Can you make your way here? Gladio's with me. Are the two of you okay at least? Yes. Okay, on my way. Huh? I'll be there as soon as I take care of these stowaways. And things just got worse. Oh god, these gargoyles are so oh god. Okay. 
There's nothing, there's nothing like getting just gang banged in the corner. Uh, potion. Keep moving up towards the front. There's gotta be another gargoyle coming for my ass. Yep, there he is. Come here, bitch! And a miss. And a heal. I don't have any spaces. Great. Can't take much more of this. Suffer. See ya. Oh my gosh, dude. I still can't. Hey, thanks for the high potion. Gargoyle, I swear, just let me kill a little shit, dude. Dude, you guys. A shithead. This gargoyle can eat a dick, dude. Fuck off. Oh, goody, here's another one. Yeah, hold out until it clears the tunnel. This is always fun. Well, look who's here. Horanea. Guess we've got you to thank for this mess. More to it than meets the eye. You want to know who to thank? Come with me. <laughs> Can't wait to hear this. What did you do to your eyes? No, oh, uh, just a flesh wound. Can you see? I'm afraid not. Wow, that sucks. It's a cruel world. Uh, wasn't there one more of you guys? Yeah, there was. <sighs> we lost track of him. Is he dead? I, I don't know. Then quit moping, keep hoping. And in the meantime, handle what's at hand. So if it's not you, we thank. Oh, thank the demons. Pawns of the Imperial Army. The army that you fight for. Fought for. My men and I are in the search and rescue business now. <laughs> 
You mentioned being part of the relief effort. We have a favor to ask. Ask away. In light of what you've told us, we can't allow the other passengers to continue on. Sure, leave them to me. But who's gonna drive the train? Now that you mention it, yeah. You know anyone? I do. In fact, I know two. Your new engineers. Biggs and Wedge. No need to worry. They can take a licking. Only if we have to. What's all this about? Driving a train to Gralia. That all. Well, who would you have me ask? You got us there. We'll do it. Hey, really appreciate you going out of your way. Yeah. No sweat. Hey, thanks for the lift. We're happy to help. Can't say the climate will be as cooperative, though. You know? Right, especially the gorge. The place is freezing. Makes sense what with the ice goddess's cold corpse lying around. It's a rather long ride, so I suggest you bundle up before we ship out. By the way, I bumped into a woman from the manor. Used to serve house floor A. Must have gone off looking for you. Said she had something important to discuss. With me? I guess I ought to find her then. All right, time for the wardrobe change. Moving on from the prince fatigues to the royal raiment. Also boost my HP a little bit. We'll be waiting on board. Give us a holler when you're ready. Let me grab this real quick. My word. Is that you, Prince Noctis? I, uh, yeah. Have we... Oh, blessed be the stars. Just look at what a fine young man you've grown into. I am Maria, a retainer in service to House Flore. I doubt you'll remember me after these long years. I, um, can't say I do. Don't worry. Who I am is of little import in light of what I wish to discuss. Lady Lunafreya risked everything to spirit the Ring of the Lucii away from the Citadel. Did she deliver it to you? Yeah. Stars above! My fears have been assuaged. Lord Ravis, too, will be overjoyed to hear this news. Ravis, too? has begun to fail me. No, I cannot accept it. <sighs> By your hand, it must be done. To deliver the ring and inspire the king is your calling. You mustn't fall. But I lack the strength to go on. Find it, Lunafreya. You have the will. Go to Noctis. Show him the truth of your heart.
I understand you will go hence to the Imperial capital. Yeah. Lord Ravis has King Regis's glaive in his safekeeping, and it was his wish to return it to you, my prince. Though I imagine it will not be easy for you to find each other. I'll get it from him somehow. I pray it shall be so. Alrighty, we've got one more thing in this area to take care of, and then it will be an episode, and then in the next one we will reboard the train. About the crystal. Remember how I said it was locked away? Uh, yeah. They really don't allow anyone near the thing. The Emperor himself never got close to it. The lab rats had a theory that the crystal posed some kind of threat to the demons. The way they see it? That's the reason the Chancellor had the Emperor go after it in the first place. Hmm. Dunno, but that theory holds water in my book. Certainly explains why the Kings have always guarded the crystal, and how they kept the demons at bay. Long story short, we're stuck in this rut until you go and take back what's yours. Is that all her dialogue it is? We're good. We don't actually need anything. Those weapons aren't any better than the ones we have. Prince Noctis! Yeah? Prince Noctis, were, were you excited to marry Lady Luna Freya? Because she was really excited to marry you. She looked so happy the day her dress arrived. She really loved you, Prince Noctis. I... <sighs> Thank you. At first, the father had mourned the fate of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the Oracle who assuaged their fears. But the girl, she holds the true power. I have little to offer a king other than the voice afforded the Oracle. Nevertheless, and I'm afraid you might find this foolish. to be together with Noctis again. Even if only for a short while, it would mean the world to me. I do not seek to guide him, merely to stand beside him. she was burdening you with the wedding. That's not true, is it? No, not at all. Lady Lunafreya was lucky to find a nice guy like you. <laughs> Thanks. Will we ever see the dawn again? Alrighty, guys. That is going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. In the next one, we'll reboard the train and uh, set off towards Gralia. I listened to Lady Lunafreya's address on the radio. To think she gave that speech in the very place she was supposed to be wed. I can only imagine how she must have felt. 
But yeah, that's going to do it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll get you guys in the next episode. Peace out.